for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya, and today is Communion Sunday, and we're making apple juice. Um, so I wanted to give you some of the tips and pointers because I've been doing this cleanse, so I've been drinking this apple juice all week, and yes, I am tired of it, but I still wanted to present it to you guys so that you can see how I make it and get some beneficial information out of apple juice. So when I speak of apple juice and the nutrients and the things in this video, I am speaking on the fresh May apple juice, not the store bought that has been pasteurized and stripped of a lot of stuff and then enriched with the stuff they took out. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the juice like this that has been um, freshly squeezed and processed like this, like you see here. So first I want to talk about cleaning the apples. So because I am juicing, I actually washed these apples with some soap and water and I used a scrubby, just one I get from the dollar store, you know, just one of these plastic little scrubs that I get from the dollar store. This one is just for my fruits and vegetables. I do not use it on anything else, just for the fruits and vegetables. So that's what I scrubbed it down with. And then I soaked it in um, some, some baking soda and apple cider vinegar in some water. So that's how I clean these and then, you know, scrub them down with the scrubby so that they're nice and clean and get some of that wax off that they have on them. So what I have today here is I have one Granny Smith. These are the ones that are tart, so there's not a lot of sweetness in these. I have a Fuji apple, which is a good flavor apple, and I have a um, Gala apple. Now these are organic apples, except for the Granny Smith. I couldn't couldn't find it organic which is why I only bought two <laughs> for yesterday and today so I can try to see if I can find them again today now because I am juicing this I do want to have organic and the reason I say that is is because you are concentrating a lot of juice at one time so when you do this or you do a green drink or you do a smoothie you are taking more than you would normally sit down and eat and you're consuming it by packing it in condensing it down so that you can drink it and because of that you want to minimize the chemicals that you have in it so if you're juicing or doing smoothies I highly recommend you get organic that means you have less pesticides less chemicals being added to the juice because remember you're going to be consuming a lot more of this in a concentrated way um, same thing with the smoothies if you can't afford organic just get the regular just get the regular um, it doesn't have as many pesticides as your meat would or your dairy and stuff like that. So it's not going to have as much chemical and pesticides as all of that, but it will still have it. Um, a higher amount than it will with the organic. So, But that's why I choose organic when I'm juicing or doing smoothies. If I'm just having a salad and they don't have any organic romaine lettuce or whatever I'm using, then fine, I'll get the regular. Because that's just a salad, it's just a small amount um, at a time. But if I'm going to blend it in with my green drink, then I want organic. So that's the tip I have for that. Now here today I have, I've already cut up a lot of them. So there were six Gala apples, three Fuji apples, and then the one green apple, the one um, Granny Smith apple. So let's get started. So what is the benefit of apple juice? And remember, I'm talking about the cloudy stuff, the stuff that you're going to make yourself. Um, or you go to a store where they make it fresh. Um, I think somebody was telling me about one at Costco's. I think it's Costco's that they have that's um, organic and pretty good. So you can try that one. Um, so the benefits of apple, apple juice. Well, we know that apples themselves are high in potassium. Um, they're high in vitamin C. They have a lot of fiber. And most of the fiber is in the skin. So if you're always pulling the skin off, you're losing your fiber. And fiber is important for your gut health. So you want to make sure you're keeping that fiber in there. Um, but it also has magnesium, manganese, iron. Um, not in sufficient amounts, but it, it has it in there. And all of that comes through when you're juicing as well. Um, I even think it has copper in it too. So, like with most fruits and vegetables, it's going to be an immune boost. It's going to um, have your antioxidants. And all of that will support brain function, support your liver, um, just your organs, period. And one of the other things I found out, too, about the apples that I did not know is that 
if you are if you are not diabetic, okay, not diabetic, that they will actually help um, strengthen your pancreas to um, decrease your chances of type two diabetes. So, like they said, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And that would be why, because of all the nutrients that it has in it and the minerals that it has in it, mineral content. Now, when you juice, it does lose a lot of that content. So you will lose a lot of the fiber. Because, like I said, the fiber is in the skin. So you're going to lose a lot of the fiber when you juice. But you still have a lot of good nutrients in it. It's still packed with vitamins. It's still packed with minerals. It's still packed with a lot of the things that you need. It even has um, some of your vitamin Bs are even in the apple. So the apple is really good, really rich with a lot of nutrients that your body needs. Um, now the reason, because it's a group of us that's doing this cleanse. If you haven't um, seen one of the videos before, there's a group of us doing the cleanse. And the reason why we're starting with the apple juice is because it's a cleanser. The apple is actually a cleanser. And it was three juices that we can choose from, apple, grape, or carrot. I don't know about y'all, carrot juice is okay, but I don't think I wanna drink it um, for a whole week. <laughs> Which is why I chose apple. And grapes, you know, trying to find some good quality grapes that haven't been messed with is difficult. Like fruits were created from seeds. And the reason they keep getting created is because they have seeds in them that helps them reproduce. Like this apple seed right here, okay? Where is it? On my thumb. You know, that's how life continues. That's how they continue. So, to have something that's seedless is not natural. All fruits have seeds. So, to have it seedless is not natural. It's convenient, but it's not natural. And so, trying to find some seeded grapes that are organic, good luck. <laughs> okay, so I got that thrown away. Now, another question you're probably wondering is, Toya, there's a lot of pulp that comes out when you juice. What are you doing with the pulp? Well, there's a couple of things. Um, you can blend the pulp up. You can blend the pulp up with some other fruits and vegetables, and if you have a dehydrator, you can put it in a dehydrator. If you don't, you can put it in an oven, I think um, at like 150, 175, something like that. Just keep an eye on it, but you can make like a fruit leather out of it. So you know those fruit roll-ups? You can do the same thing with this. If you're putting it in an oven, just line your baking sheet with some parchment paper, blend everything up. Um, like I said, the apple pulp along with some other fruits, spread it out and just keep an eye on it so that it doesn't burn. But as soon as it dries out, um, slice it up and you have fruit roll-up. Um, if you're putting in a dehydrator, same thing. You know, let it dehydrate out and you'll end up with fruit roll-ups. Another thing is, is you can put it in your smoothies, of course, put it in your oatmeal. Um, if you're making it, if you're baking, you can use it with muffins or put it in your cake, whatever it is. Just like you would an apple, you just put the pulp in there. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do is, is I make my um, food for my dogs and I'm going to put the pulp in their food. So because I'm not eating and we're just doing the juice and our other routine, so it starts out with your, your, first of all, your glass of water. You should have a tall glass of water as soon as you wake up because that helps your body flush and get ready for the day. So we have our tall glass of water. Then we do our kidney flush, which is lemon, it's lemon. Um, cayenne pepper and this um, garlic extract in some warm water so you drink that down and then I do my green drink so that's what I start out with in the morning and then I go through the rest of the day with just apple juice and water and I use distilled water which I did a video on that um, so that's what I consume during this whole cleanse that's it um, and this acts as the cleanser so with this, because I'm not eating, I'm going to put mine in the freezer. I actually have some already in there. But I'm going to add this to what I have in the freezer so that I can use it for the dogs and I can use it when I come off of this cleanse for the things I want to consume. Um, let's see. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you guys. I talked about the beer. Oh, apples. So, 
you need the firm apples if the apples are too old they're going to be soft and when you go to put them in the juicer you're going to end up with applesauce it's not going to be juice <laughs> you're going to have to water it down in order to even get it out of the machine why do i know this because i did it <laughs> i had some apples in there that i forgot about and before i started this cleanse i'm like let me test this out and see make sure my juicer can handle an apple and it came out like applesauce and i had to put water in it which diluted it and it was a mess so make sure you're using fresh apples that are still firm and hard because that way you can actually get the juice out and not end up with applesauce <laughs> all right so let's get to juicing now you know this is just my little individual juice and I got my bottle here that I'm keeping it in for the day. This I'm actually taking to work and then anything left over is what I'll be drinking before I go to work. Um, so we're going to get to um, juicing. Ooh, so with this one, you're supposed to fill it up first and then turn it over. So um usually i put it through once and then when the pup comes out i put it through again i notice with this one though with the apples i don't have to do that it gets all the juice out and it's really um dry when it comes through it's really dry when it comes out the pulp is so it's not necessary to do it twice but a lot of the stuff i do i put it through twice and then I'll show you too how much juice comes out. And I do have my handy dandy tools. This is the plunger that came with it. And this is the brush to clean it. I actually prefer using this <laughs> to get in there because it gets in further and works better. So, but anyway, that, that's just my little tip. But we're just gonna juice this. All these apples in there. All that goodness. And you see the pulp coming out? And like I said, it's really, really dry. If you can see that, it's really dry. And let me open this up. Lost the apple, y'all. in here almost lost too the other thing is be careful too because I've um, gotten the juice and the pulp inside the actual juice before too and you don't want to do that so just keep an eye out it's like I knocked the apple in there and this is it this is as simple as it is Watch me do the whole bowl because I still got half a bowl to go. But I do want to show y'all this. Okay. So this is what the juice looks like. You can see the layer of foam and then the rest of the juice. All I do is, is I take this, pour it in my container. And tap with, tap with the brown says, like so, like that. Oops. And then you just shake it and drink it. So, and this is just straight apple juice. It's like drinking an apple. And I really like using the Granny Smith apple in there because the other apples are very, very sweet. And so the Granny Smith apple kind of cuts down that sweetness to it. So it's not as, as, as sweet. Um, if you're one that loves sweet stuff, then you can probably do without it. Me, I don't really have a lot of sweet stuff. So it's a lot for me. <laughs> so I needed something to cut it down, and that's why I used the Granny Smith. But that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, and then, like I said, the nutrients and what you can do with the pulp. Again, make sure if you're going to juice, try to get organic, and make sure your apples are still firm so you don't end up with um, applesauce in your juicer. And those are the benefits, and it's a cleanser, and that's what we're doing. 
So I love you guys, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Oh, and if you got anything out of this, please like, subscribe, and share. Because if you got something out of this, chances are somebody else will as well. So please share the content. And leave your comments below. I love to hear what, what you guys think and what, what your ideals are and your thoughts on things are. So let me know. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.